Heyo, it's Ayo, and today we're playing a game called The Stranger from the Bus Stop. I I just know it's a horror game, that's all I know. I remember her. Mari. Mari, is that right? That was her first name. I didn't bother to ask her last name. She was sat next to me at the office for a couple of months, but we never really talked. She was terrible at tell tell counselor. Telly counselor. <laughs> She used to make a lot of mistakes at work, and then customers take their anchor out on her through the phone. All she could do was apologize, over and over again. How did she get this job? I mean, she lacked tenacity, tenacity and was very withdrawn into herself. Her gloomy aura didn't help at all, and nobody wanted to talk to her. Maybe she didn't want to connect with anyone either. When she stopped coming, some people were relieved and others were happy to have a reason to speak badly about her. And then the news came. Do you know about Mari? The one who resigned days ago, right? Yes, I'm talking about her. What's wrong with her? She died. Huh? I didn't even say goodbye her to her when she left with all the, her stuff. I just gave her a side, side eye glance, impassive, like I always did. I didn't care at the time, but now I feel terribly guilty. I could have lightened the load on her by asking her how she was doing or asking what she, her what she liked. I don't know. Just say something. But I didn't. Everyone else forgot about her death. Actually, me too. I simply wish to never make the same mistake again. Okay. This is our office? <laughs> Sigh. Time flies. We are in the middle of winter. Years ago, it would have been holiday holidays for me, but it's not the same thing anymore. I'm a grown-up now. I signed up for adulthood without being aware of it. I've been working as a telecounselor counselor for a startup in the city for almost a year now. Actually, I don't have much to say about it. My life is pretty boring. I focus on work because it's all I could do. Sometimes I get lazy. Sometimes I get overwhelmed. Sometimes I go out with some co-workers. No one is waiting for me to come home. 9.45 p.m. That's late to be at work. Oh, why is your face like that? <laughs> You're creepy looking. My work day is over. I can... Sorry. I can finally go home and have some rest. You still bus stop. <laughs> it's dark. There's almost nobody outside. I'm so tired. I don't feel like walking. Fortunately, there is a bus across the street taking me right home. The only problem is that it doesn't pass by very often. <sighs> I just hope that I will be able to sit on the bench at the bus shelter. I don't know. There might be a stranger there. It's a vampire! <laughs> Marshall Lee, the Vampire King! Someone's already sitting on the bench. Too bad. I'll just stand next to them. Hmm? He seems to be in his thoughts. You, s you start to stare without realizing it. He's shaking. He must be dying of cold. He's not dressed warm enough to handle this cold weather. You don't need to be dressed warm. He's the vampire. You are still staring at the stranger. You see those ears? Vampire. Oh, good lord, he's even got the red eyes. Oops, I looked at him way too long. He must have felt my gaze. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Help. I have this gut feeling that tells me to get away from him. It's late. There's no one there but the two of us. He stares at me in a creepy, stranger way. What should I do? Stay or leave? Obviously, we're gonna stay. We want, we want to see the creepy stuff. No, I mean, I'm not going to leave or so, or so little. Let's not be paranoid. He moves to the side of the bench. I'll move my cursor out of the way. I guess he moved for me. That's very nice of him to let me have a seat. You sit back down. It feels good to sit down, even though I've been sitting all day. <laughs> the stranger doesn't seem to be getting better. <laughs> Does it, could it be that he, could it be that he needs help? Yeah, he's very creepy. I promised myself I would never be a coward again. 
Just say something. Yeah, say hi. Are you? Okay. Look, <laughs> You look cold. I'm fine. I don't think so. Look at your hands. They're blue because of the cold. Do you have a long way to go home? I'm not actually waiting for the bus. Um, what is with that expression? I see. I think he has a soft voice. He has a soft voice and he's more calm now. I think I judged him too quickly. Give my scarf or wish him a good evening. Let's give him the scarf. We'll be nice. Oh, did I double click? My bad. Ah, can I go back? I want to read it. Here. There we go. It's not much, but it can protect you from the cold. Thank you. That's okay. It's nothing at all. He keeps the warm scarf around his hands. It looks like his eyes softened. Ah, the bus... The bus arrives in a long time. Let's give up for today. It'll be faster walk. Let's give up for today. It'll be faster walking. Jesus, why can't I read today? I hope he will be. I hope he will doing fine though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's just gonna keep that scarf. Ah, uh, he followed us. So <laughs> I'm back. Ah, uh, my sweet home. I helped someone today. I didn't go blind for the first time in my life. Anyway, I'm so tired for tomorrow. I just want to sleep. We snore. I snore too. I I have a sister, and apparently, when I was younger, little story time here, my sister says, I don't know if this is true or not, because people tell me I don't snore, but others say I do. Anyway, uh, she says I snore like Darth Vader, so that's his breathing is my snoring. <laughs> I, I don't know, she might have just been lying, so I'd feel bad for sharing a room with her and keeping her awake, or I don't know. <laughs> Let's go for a new day. I'm tired of thinking about the day ahead of me. The calls will start soon for me. You'll never guess what happened. What happened? It seems like there's some new gossip and they are, t and they are talking loud enough to be heard by the whole open space. Ring ring. It will be for the next time. Operator, may I help you? Hello? Um, okay. Um, I can't understand what you're saying. Could you repeat, please? Mmm. You heard a kind of moaning from a distorted voice. What the hell is that? Is this a prank? If you don't need anything related to our services, I'll have to hang up. The voice stops, and now you hear a soft laugh from a deep voice. Goodbye. No. Beep beep. <laughs> I feel suddenly very uncomfortable. It was kind of creepy. Yep, that sounds creepy. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> you went home as usual, and now you lay in bed. I'm too tired to eat or something. I'm exhausted, and doing overtime didn't help. Sleeping again. Um. What? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Yep, I'm in a good mood. Um, are you sure you're fine? Yes, just a little tired. Oh, understandable then. Good luck today. I'm not doing well at all. This morning I had the weirdest thing. When I locked my door, I dropped my key. Oh shit. And when I picked it up, I saw something. What is... what is that? There were red stains on my carpet. It wasn't there before, didn't it? Maybe it's from the ceiling? I don't know. When I lifted my head, I saw something I was not expecting. 2204. Numbers were carved all over the top of the doors. I didn't know who did this and what these numbers mean, but it was weird as fuck. Especially since I didn't hear a single sound that told me my door was being scratched. Yeah, that's not creepy. One week later. Hey! Are you okay? Yeah, why? You don't look good. Yeah, hell yeah, I'm confused. I need some vacations, I guess. Is that so? <laughs> they left because you were gloomy. No, uh, that's my life. <laughs> For the past week, every day, four numbers have appeared on my door. Thanks. 
Oh my god, it continues. The third day I called the police. They didn't really take it seriously. And these numbers are getting bigger and bigger. You're not, like, gonna put a camera up or something? Soon there will be no more space. I don't know if this means anything, but I'm clueless. I finished work late today. I'm afraid to go home. Yeah, I'd be too. I would literally flee. <laughs> hey, it's our friend! It's Marshall Lee! This man is the one from the last time. He's not wearing the scarf. Did he lose it? Well, that's not important. He got up. He seems to want me to sit down. Thank you. That's fine. He looks less gloomy in comparison to the last time. That's great. You can sit down. There's enough space for two people. The stranger starts to giggle. Hmm? Oh, why he blushes? It makes me blush too. Can I ask your name? Is he talking to me? Uh huh? You don't have to. It's okay. I'm sure it's very pretty. What's with the mood between us? Are you waiting for the bus this time? No, actually, I was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? Yes, I mean, last time you left in a hurry, so I didn't have time to talk to you. I wanted to thank you for the last time. It really made me feel better. I was so lonely and it was so cold, but you brought me so much warmth and comfort. There are very few good people like you. Good people. Even if I'm used to ignoring... If I, even if I'm used to ignore people who need help. No, I think you don't really know me for saying that. Huh. <sighs> so, let me have the opportunity to know you. Hmm? What's going on? This stranger is starting to make my, make my heart race. The bus has arrived. What do you decide to do? For real? Or shy? What? What? What do you mean? What are we, for real or shy? What? <laughs> for real? This is not a joke, right? I'm serious. I'm glad you're interested in me. You stand up and approach the road. He followed you. He's just shy, actually. No. <laughs> On the way, you felt like you were in the company of a giant puppy. You felt somehow safe. So safe that you let him walk you to your door. Thank you for walking me home. For the past few days, I've been scared because someone is vandalizing my door. You didn't get what they meant, but it's okay. Yeah. I'm here now. Okay. Mm, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't expect this. It's fine. Your neighbors never come around here. Your building is almost empty. What did you say? He looks far too intense. It's a relief to know relief to know you're okay with us being together from now on. I was starting to get desperate. I've been waiting for you for so long. Oh. Help? What's going on? I don't know you. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> Of course you know me. You wouldn't have done all this without reasons. Ah, uh, I feel your warmth better like this. I can't stand being cold anymore. But it's over now. Let's keep each other warm. Like that, we could be together forever. How long has this really been going on? It doesn't matter. I will never let you go. I won't, I promise. Ha. Huh. Ending two, doomed. Well, <laughs> great. We're doomed. That's a shame. Um, okay. We'll play one more and see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna skip through this part. Just because we don't care about Mari. Okay, we're gonna start back up at this part. So, it's dark, there's almost nobody outside. 
I'm so tired, I don't feel like walking. Fortunately, there's a bus, cr a bus across the street taking me right home. The only problem is that it doesn't pass by very often. Hmm. I just hope that I will be able to sit on the bench at the bus shelter. It's our vampire! Someone is already sitting on the bench. Too bad. I'll just stand next to them. Hmm. He seems to be in his thoughts. You stare- you start to stare without realizing it. He's shaking. He must be dying of cold. He's not dressed warm enough to handle this weather. You're still staring at the stranger. His eyes are like cross eyes. <laughs> cross eyed. Not like cross eyed, but they're like- they look like they're in two different directions. <laughs> Oops, I looked at him way too long. He must have felt my gaze. <laughs> Help. I have this gut feeling that he that tells me to get away from him. It's late. There's no one there but the two of us. He stares at me in a creepy, stranger way. What should I do? Um. I think we chose stay last time, so we're going to say leave. It's better to leave him alone. I just walk home. The stranger dives into his thoughts again. Okay. It felt pretty good about following my hunch. Sometimes it's important to listen to the feelings that know something <laughs> the feelings that know something you don't. And finally I can rest. I didn't see him outside the window this time. The next day. Hey, you'll never guess what happened. What happened? Um. Oh, okay, no, this is definitely different. I was gonna skip it. It seems there's some fresh gossip. It's probably not a big deal as usual. An accident happened on the bus shelter in front of our building. An accident? It was late at night. A man was hit by a bus. That's not possible. Plus, hardly anyone takes the bus. Oh, except for you, maybe. They are looking at me. Me? Yeah. Yeah, it was around 10 p.m., I think. Come to think of it, you didn't see that man. No, I didn't take the bus. It must be a relief, so. They will also think about the possibility of a suicide. I guess we'll never know. Your colleagues suddenly seemed to be agitated, but you suddenly felt empty. I shouldn't have left. He didn't seem to be doing well. He was freezing of cold. But he was so creepy, right? I couldn't know what was going to happen. Ending one. Guilty. Wow. Okay. So. There's, I don't know how many endings there are. We got one of the creepy ones and we got the ending where he dies. Um, this is kind of a weird game. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of good though. It, it is cool. Maybe, maybe we'll do another episode to try get more endings. I'm not really sure. I think we're just going to end it here. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, maybe subscribe, you know. Alrighty. See you next time. Bye.